right now previously you remember we calculated the value of v to be r root over rg when it comes to the top when it is equal to rg it comes to the top when the value is less than rg the value of velocity is less than rg then it will not come to the top but there will be some intermediary position for that value if it is greater than zero and less than rg so if the velocity is zero it is at this point it cannot go up if the velocity is rg it will come to this point it completed the circle the velocity is between zero and rg that means it has it it has reached to some intermediary position and we have calculated this value considering that tension is zero that means such a situation is possible that the tension is zero and you have velocity equal to these values at the top you understand the velocity because mg cos theta is acting as centripetal force and you have a velocity the velocity doesn't become zero at the point when tension becomes zero mg cos theta alone can act as centripetal force so at the point where tension becomes zero, velocity is not zero. That kind of condition is feasible when the bob goes above this point and it is below this point. So in this region, what would happen? Tension would become zero and the velocity will not be zero at that point. So you know what going to what's going to happen in that case. If tension becomes zero, that means the bob is no more attached with the string. So it will come out of the circular path and there will be no oscillation. The bob would come out of the circular path. All right, and the velocity is equal to rg is at this point it has reached to the top velocity is zero it is at this point right that means if the bob starts from here and stops at any point below the horizontal line then it will come down and it will do the oscillation if it crosses the horizontal line and does not reach to the top then it is not going to come down in the circular path it's going to leave its trajectory okay so the bottom line of everything is if the velocity is greater than zero less than root over 2gr it's going to do oscillation because it's going to remain in the lower half of the circle if it reaches to the upper half of the circle and could not go to the top that means if the velocity at the bottom is greater than root 2 gr but is less than root 5 gr if the velocity at the bottom is greater than root 2 gr but it is less than root 5 gr then it is not going to do oscillation and the bob is going to come out of the vertical path this is the bottom line if it is greater than root tgr then it's going to complete the circle so take some breath and do the entire analysis think about it do the whole mathematics as we have discussed on your own once again So let's do some problem based on this. Suppose there's a bridge like this and there's a car going around the bridge. So the question is you have to show that the weight if you measure the weight of this car at the top and it is having it is it is undergoing a circular motion it, it's, so the weight of this car at the top would be less than the weight that you will measure when the car is stationary on ground understood so so the, if if you have if, if there is some mechanism of weighing this car at the top if you have some load cell or anything like that then what would have then the reading of that weight would be less than the reading that would come when the car is a stationary on a leveled ground so showing that is pretty easy now there will be some reaction upward and there will be some force mg downward now r will not be equal to mg when the car is stationary r is equal to mg when the car is moving in a circular path or any curved path then r is not equal to mg because you require a net centripetal force so mg minus r is a net centripetal force and that has to be some positive value so r is has to be less than equal to mg 
this will be equal to mv square upon r so r here is actually mg minus mv square upon r otherwise r is equal to mg so as you can see because of this term the reaction from the ground will be less and the reaction from the ground is what is measured by the weighing machine so the weighing machine will measure a much lesser weight Suppose this is a vertical circle and you have seen those in, in some circus, there's a death well and the biker goes from the bottom to the top riding the, that vertical circle and when it goes to the top he doesn't fall, right? He goes and he completes the vertical circle. Now the radius of this death well is suppose given as 25 meter. Then you have to find what is the minimum velocity at the bottom that he should have so that he doesn't fall when he goes at the top. Right? Or what is the minimum value that it should, the value of the velocity that the rider should have at the top? What should be the minimum value? V min at the top. Such that the biker doesn't fall. Okay, so it's pretty easy, basically a f basic formula based problem, but you find your answer. The, the point here is the biker will fall, then the reaction force will be zero. Some mg is acting downward and apart from that there will be some reaction force and both will be acting downward. So reaction plus mg, that should be equal to mv squared upon r see the re if the biker will not fall if he if he has a tendency to go up the bike will go and push the well up if it has a tendency to go up then the biker will not fall and it will have a tendency to go up if mg is not sufficient enough to act as a centripetal force because if you have very high velocity then mv squared upon r will be very high that means the required centripetal force will be very high and mg is alone not capable enough to provide that force so that in that case what happens is as i have told you before if the radius is increased then the required centripetal force will tend to decrease so in that case the body tries and goes up and increase its radius so if it tries and goes up then it cannot go up because the surface there but it goes and presses the surface and due to that pressing a reaction force comes up and now this reaction force and mg together can give you mv square upon r okay so now in the limiting case when it is just at the verge of falling then the reaction will become zero and mg alone has to act as a cent as a centripetal force so the minimum velocity there will be some minimum velocity below that it will fall so the minimum velocity will come out as root over g into r. Okay, it will come out something 15.65 meter per second. Fine.